in the frustrum of a cone, the bottom diameter is twice the top diameter. Let's use this information to answer A and P. Now, how do we do this? Okay, so let's draw the frustrum. A frustrum of a cone is simply a cone with the upper part being cut out, like what I'm drawing. I don't know how to draw, so just consider this for me. Now, so uh, let's uh, have this as the frustrum of a cone. Now, this is the top diameter, and it is D. And this is the bottom diameter, so let's write 3 times D, that is twice D. Now, let us extend this part to meet this part, so that we can get the whole cone. That's the view of the whole cone. So, from the top to the bottom is the height of the whole cone. Let's name it H. And from this point up to the base here is the height of the frustrum, which is 12 centimeters. Now, the ratio of the diameters is in proportion to the ratio of the heights. So we take the smaller diameter divided by the bigger diameter is proportional to the smaller height, 12, divided by the bigger height. So here D cancels D and we have one third equals 12 out of H, which gives the height equals 36 centimeters. Now, we are to calculate the radius giving the volume as 39,600 cubic centimeters. So, we know that volume of a cone is one third power r squared times h. So, we do simple substitution. Okay. So, let's see. Oh, let's use this part. That part is very small. So, we have 39,600 equals one third times pi is 22 on 7 times r squared times h. And h is 36 centimeters. So, we have 39,600 times 3 times 7, that is 21, all divided by 22 times 36 equals R squared. If we simplify this, we have 1050 equals R squared. So if we take square root of both sides, we have R equals square root of 1050, which gives R equals 32.5. Which can be written as R equals 32.40 centimeters to four significant figures. Thanks for watching. Please kindly like, share, comment, and follow for us to build the mathematics community.